Hi guys and welcome back to my 15 minute core cool workout. There's going to be three levels to this starting with level one. So coming down to your back, we're going to start out with our heel taps. So make sure we're engaging the tummy, take the hands behind the head, pull those tummy muscles in, pressing the lower back into the floor and tapping away with those heels for 20. Just bringing it in, making sure we keep those tummy muscles engaged, pressing down into the back for me here and making sure we're keeping the chin away from the chest, looking up towards the knees as we move through the exercise. So really pulling down into those tummy muscles and really, if you can, suck up that pelvic floor for me as well. So keep going for me. And then from here into leg extension, so extending the leg out. Now, again, try to keep that lower back into the floor. Don't let that lower back arch. So for this, if you need to draw the legs a little bit higher, that's fine. Okay, so keep it going, working into those legs, keeping that core engaged. Breathe. Great work. Almost there. Breathe it out. And then from here, extend the leg up to the sky. And we're going to switch legs into scissors for 20. So switching through. Again, try to press that lower back down into the floor, keeping the shoulders off the floor. If you cannot feel this, you need to really draw those tummy muscles down and in and pressing down into the lower back. Keep pulling through the legs, taking nice deep breaths in, inhaling and exhaling. Great work, almost there. And now from here, pelvic tilt. So let's tilt it up to the sky. So you're literally just a little baby tilt, tilting the pelvis in, the hands on the floor. You can take your hands alongside you if that's more comfortable for you, not a problem. Keep tilting in, and you should feel these lower abdominals really working hard now. Keep it going, pressing through, and there's knees slightly soft. Great work. Okay, from here, we're going to be moving on into our next exercise. So taking a few more little tilts here, keep it going and almost to the end now. So as we get into the end of this, from here we're going to bring ourselves up and over. So bringing the feet down into grounded crossovers. So taking the elbow to the outside of the knee, all the way to the outside, keep pulling up and over. So make sure the shoulder is coming off the floor. Don't be just trying to kind of pull the knee in and think that's enough. You need to get the elbows to outside of the knee. So you should really feel these obliques engaging. So the obliques being a bit down the side of the body here. Keep it going. Great work. So again, we're going for 20 here in total. And as we come to the end of this, we're going to get ready. Keep pushing through. Keep bringing the elbow in and then we're going to draw ourselves up and we're going to come over onto our front side. So now let's move into obliques, draw the out, uh, knee down onto the floor, hand by the head and we're going to just take some little kneeling obliques, so dipping the hips down and pressing up. Now don't just make this all about the obliques, we're also using those rectus abdominis, the front of the um, body. So we're really working that core here, drawing the belly button up and in. Keep squeezing up, push those hips up. That's it, well done. Keep squeezing up through. So we're going 20 on each side for this one. Keep it nice and long. And don't forget to really push those hips up to the sky. Don't let them start to sag. Okay, here. Keep breathing through it. Keep pulling that belly button in. And keep drawing up into those obliques. Great work. Squeeze it through and then switching sides. So 20 into the other side. Exactly the same thing, taking it onto the knees. So for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep pulling that belly button in. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more and release. Good. From here, we're going to come into our plank position. So come onto your forearms for this one and make sure we engage the tummy muscles here. So what do I mean by that? Just pull the belly button up and in. 
squeezing back through the heels, pressing into the outside of the arms for me, broadening the shoulders. Okay, keep the bum lifted, but not too high, not too low. Okay, we don't want that bum sagging down. We really want to engage the core here. We've got about another 10 seconds here. Still breathing, still holding, looking ahead for me. Okay, don't look to the floor, just look slightly ahead. Good, holding it here and release it down. Okay, so moving on now, level two. So it's gonna look a little bit harder, okay? So get yourself ready, coming back down to the ground. And then taking the hands behind the head, draw the shoulders off, the heel taps again, but this time with the shoulders lifted. So you should really feel this core now engaging even more. Okay, working through it for 20. And again, if you start to notice your tummy popping up, think of pulling the belly button back down towards the spine, okay? That's gonna stop you putting excessive pressure into the front of the abdominals. Good, nice and strong, keep working through. And then from here into dead bugs. So for the dead bug, as we go to opposite arm and opposite leg, really think about pushing down into that back. There may be a slight arch, but we don't want a massive arch as we reach out. So you'll notice that I don't bring my leg all the way down because if I do, then I get a bit more of an arch going into the back. I don't want to do that. I really want to pull those tummy muscles in, so really contracting those muscles. So working those really deep transverse abdominals, which is so important, especially if you've had a baby or you've had diastasis practice, is a great exercise for that. Keep working it through. Once you've done your 20, we'll move on into our next exercise. So taking the right leg up, extend the left leg out. Now, scissors, but this time a little pulse at the bottom. So you're going to, again, feel this a little bit more into those lower abdominals and possibly in those upper abdominals now. We've got the shoulders off the floor, so we're really engaging this core even more. Keep working through it for 20 in total. Good work, keep it going. We've got this, excellent. So keep breathing, don't forget to breathe. But again, if you start to notice that tummy popping up, think of pulling it down. If you need to, don't just bring the leg quite so low, okay? Good work, keep it there, keep it there. And then from here, take those hands to the floor. This time, tuck ups, bend the knees slightly and we're aiming to push the feet up to the sky and lift it up, taking the bottom off the floor, but engage those tummy muscles again. Sometimes I hear people saying the feeling in the back. We don't want to feel it in the back. We should be using those tummy muscles. Yes, the back is part of the core and it should be supporting it, but predominantly we should feel those um, abdominals working really, really hard. So really working in the front side of the abdominals. Good, pressing all the way up and really pulling the belly button down and then as we reach up high. Again, we're doing 20 in total. So keep reaching, see how high you can get. See if you can get lengthen those legs a little bit more each time. Well done. Keep pressing through all the way to the top. Take a few more here. And then from here, ground the left leg down, right leg up to the sky. Now we're gonna isolate. So right elbow to left knee, and then extending the other leg down for 10 repetitions. So you really want to make sure that shoulder is off the floor, tummy muscles pulled in, okay? Slowly lower that leg. Don't kind of sort of swing it. You want that really controlled as you're lifting up and down. If you let it go too quickly, you'll start to rock. We don't want you rocking, okay? So you can again feel those lower abs working and obliques and we're going to switch into the other side so 10 on the other side left elbow to right knee and lift up and down for one two three four keep drawing those abs in five six seven eight good keep that elbow to the knee one more Release, good. Okay, so from here, we're gonna bring those knees back in. So bent knee clock face. So I do clock face quite often with you guys, um, but we're just doing this with the knees up this time, rolling through the shoulders and drawing the body up and over. So we're going for 10 in one direction, 
and then we'll go for 10 in the other direction. So you've really got to draw up. You're going to probably feel those upper abs as well as lower abs working. And then you'll get ready to do it. Go in the other direction for 10, for 9, for 8. Keep pulling up. 7, for 6, for 5, for 4, 3, for 2, last one all the way around keep it going yes and release well done come back on up okay so coming back round, we're going back into those obliques again so this time onto forearm make sure shoulder is stacked above elbow into oblique dips so sinking the hips down to the ground and you're going for 20 on this side and then we'll go into 20 on the other side just keep moving through now again it's not just the obliques. We want to be pulling those belly buttons in, really drawing up into your rectus abdominis, okay, as well as the obliques. And probably transverse is going to be working a little bit here as well for you. Um, make sure you're really pushing up into the hips. Now, if you are starting to struggle, remember, you can drop the knee down if that feels more comfortable for you. Switching into the other side. Let's take it to the other side. Again, just make sure shoulders are stacked. Okay, we don't want to be too far behind the elbow, okay? So we don't want to have the elbow further ahead of us than our shoulder, because we're getting problems with the shoulder. So really keep everything in alignment as we push through. Keep it going. Doing so, so well. Keep pushing through. Squeeze, draw those tummy muscles in. Squeeze those hips up to the sky. If you find you're starting to sort of sl um, slacken a bit, then get those hips back up. Okay, coming into our plank next. So taking the hands out into full plank this time, and we're going to take knee to elbow. So you really need to draw those abdominals in as we pull the knee to the elbow. And you're going for 20 in total ensuring that the back is broad so we're spreading the shoulder blades okay we don't want to have shoulder blades poking up to the sky and we really want to engage the back as much as possible so we don't want to be um, dipping the hips down too much we really want to be using the abdominals to pull the knees up and in good keep it going and then from here let's just take a moment to stretch out and we're going to get ready to go into level three and this is the final level guys you've done so well we're almost there now so coming back down to the ground take a nice deep breath in get ready and then when you're ready hands to your knees and we're just going to be reaching up for little crunches for 20. good so keep reaching all the way to the tops of the knees excellent keep it going and again Think about where your position is. You should not be coming all the way back down to the mat. You should pretty much be pulling up and in and then hold and then draw it in an extra inch in, okay? So you're really finding that last little inch to draw in. From here, we're going to take crossovers. So you're reaching the hands opposite to opposite of the knee, okay? So really reaching those shoulders off. Again, I don't want to see that back, back on the floor. You are literally just crossing straight over. So we work those obliques and really getting into strengthening this core for you excellent work keep it there take the legs up high to the sky straight leg crunches to bring up and then that little crunch at the top keep it at the top keep it at the top now if your neck is hurting you're struggling a little bit here you could take one hand behind the head just to support it a little bit here but keep breathing that's the main thing here breathe all right you're doing so well almost there Keep it going. And as we release, take our feet back up. And now we're going into plow crunches. Now this is a little bit more interesting, okay? So you've got to get those legs all the way up and over. And I want you to be using the tummy muscles to do this, okay? So you're pulling the tummy muscles in and pulling it over. You're not trying to use momentum to just sort of roll the body over. So we're doing 10 of these. Keep it going. If you do struggle with this one, again, you could just come back to those tuck um, pulses. So bringing the feet up to the sky. From here, we're going to come into a plow and then we're going to start to work into a leg lift shortly. So get prepared for this as we start to bring these legs up and over. Got a couple more here to remain. Good. 
it work. And then from here, we take the legs all the way behind us and then all the way down. And bring it back up and over. Now, you could probably bring these legs a little bit lower than I'm showing you here. Um, I'm simply um, going as far as I feel able to. Um, I have had diastasis. I've had a uh, high knee operation as well in the past. So I have to just be a little bit more careful about how far I take those legs out. However, if you have no issues in your abdominals, you could bring the legs down even further, okay? So keep moving through, making sure we're not getting that arch in the back, okay, as we bring the legs down, okay? So try not to arch out the back. Really think about using the tummy muscles to lower and to lift, okay? It's really all about focusing on the engagement of those tummy muscles. From here, let's go into our full clock face. So legs extended and all the way around. So 10 in one direction, 10 in the other direction. Nice and straight forward. So you start to feel these upper abs, hopefully, really starting to burn a little bit now, hopefully. All the way around. Keep it going. Almost there. And then we'll start to work our way in the other direction shortly. You've done your turn and let's move it through the other way. Good. Keep it going. Excellent work. Excellent work. Keep it there. We're almost at the end here, guys. Doing so, so well. Keep drawing those tummy muscles in again. Just make sure that that tummy isn't popping up. You're pulling the tummy muscles in. Great work. And then release. Come on up. So final set of oblique work. Okay, so from here, we're going to come into um, our forearm again, and we're going to take it into elbow to knee crunches. So really keeping tummy muscles engaged, whole body is strong and straight elbow to knee, okay? So really pull it in, and we're going for 10 on each side. Here again, if you only manage six or eight, that's all good. You're doing so well, just keep pushing and then switch sides. So straight to the other side. Now again, just like I have said before, keep the elbow directly under the shoulder. Okay, get that nice little stretch in and then pull it in. Okay, we don't want to be um, hurting the shoulder. Okay, so really keep it nice and strong. Keep the hips lifted. Brilliant work. Keep it going, keep it going. You're almost there now. Got one exercise left after this. So just come down get ready and we're going to go into our last plank exercise so hip dips come onto your forearms bring the feet back press into the heels and then we're sinking the hips side to side now it's really important you're using the tummy muscles to lift the body up and over okay that's going to really hit that core okay squeeze good work come on come on come on we've got 20 of these just to finish off Nice work. Keep it going. Almost at the end now, guys. So good. And now let's stretch. Let's come into that lovely little cobra or give the birth sphinx, so that's fine. And then take it down. Deep breath in. Exhale into child's pose. Get your breath back. You did such a good job. So proud of you. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I get to see you again soon. Do let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see from me um, and I'd be more than happy to do that. Bye.